yesterday there was this terrorist threat um, to do with packets that apparently arrived at East Midlands um, um, Airport, which was quite convenient as a, as a high Asian um, population. Um, Dubai, and it was on its way to America or something. Um, they're still talking about the BBC. Now, I work for Royal Mail, and um, Royal Mail is apparently one of the depots it was found in. Now, it is, it is standard for all managers to be aware of any terrorist threat, and it's standard for them to inform us of any suspected product, uh, uh, packages that have been put through our system. I've asked all the managers, they know nothing about it. Okay, we're always told. Basically, three days ago, David Cameron done a budget which basically said that they were going to cut the military um, and America wasn't very happy about that to do with NATO. NATO weren't very happy and they were going to use less money for terrorism and more money for cyber terrorism. And then conveniently, 48 hours, three packets are found destined for America, right? Even the sheep can see through this because I spoke to someone at work and she said yeah my other half turned around and said oh that's convenient funny that isn't it we were cutting money like you know three days ago America were unhappy and now there's a terrorist threat it's pure propaganda fear 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 this is day two and they're still talking about it Look. still talking about it it's absolute hogwash parcel you know absolute hogwash um, UPS. The same substance allegedly used by Umar Farouk Abdul Mutallab to try to blow up a plane over Detroit on Christmas Day. <sighs> This is too convenient, um, and also, funny enough, um, our security, head of security or head of terrorism, has been in the White Hall or something, discussing it, and she's going to make an announcement soon. Basically, they're going to change the budget, put more money back into terrorism, put more money back into bloody um, um, the military, just to keep the Amer American people happy, or the American government happy. Basically, this is America, again, with another false flag. Okay? Because fear, it's fear, 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 suspicious packet found, but it's not a bomb. <laughs> How's it a terrorist? What was it? Some powder? What was it? Talcum powder? The British Brainwashing Corporation have decided to talk about this for the last hour. Russia today, give it a 15 second slot saying, yeah, there's, there's been a packet that's been found. Um, yeah, it raised some of the terror um, thing there's da da da. That was it. Fear, 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 fear. Everyone panic, fear. All clear given to UPS plane on New Walk Airport. That's funny because it was a Royal Mail van that we saw a minute ago that had a suspicious packet on. I work for Royal Mail. Funny enough, there was no um, heightened security this morning or any kind of terrorist threat or anything like that. And um, I bet you when I go to work tomorrow, they will not mention anything to do with... Um, um, high security alert or anything like that um, and if they don't then you know that this is all a complete load of bollocks as it went through the postal system okay I'm going to turn it off now oh ink toner cartridge now it's quarter past eight and this is the last footage um, they haven't stopped talking about this this is Sky News um, fear 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 over a suspected uh, possible package in a, in a JFK cargo flight that's headed in and apparently fighter jets are heading in with them. Oh, oh, what a load of shit. Fear, fear, fear. So then we turn to 80, which is BBC News, and uh, fear, 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 fear. So then you turn to Russia today. John Gort, he's head of the EU referendum campaign in the UK. He believes being part of the EU club has had a devastating impact on the British economy. It's costing it's us like for £48 million pounds a day in the UK. And our Prime Minister today, who had the backbone, the spine of a blancmange, and gave away another £400 million pounds of our money. I don't think he's still got a democratic mandate to do that. We need a referendum on the EU. But, but hold on, David Cameron, some would say, was strong in that he saved the UK taxpayer oh. from paying even more. Oh. And in some ways, oh. his assertions there actually gave the UK uh, a very 
very strong voice and it prevented further budgets being asked from the UK by the EU. Come, come on, that, there was more spin than a washing machine assembly line. <laughs> he basically told us that he was going to save us the lot. He knew he couldn't do that. He knew the minimum he'd have to pay is the £2.9 billion pound commitment because there was no way out of it. That's what's happened today. He's trying to spin it that he saved us the other 4%. It's garbage. Absolute garbage. And I'm worried as well there's been some dodgy deal done with the Germans and the French so that there isn't a referendum on the changes that they want to the Lisbon Treaty as well. This is an affront to democracy, not just for UK citizens, but for Germans and French and the other 27 countries in the European Union. Can I just ask you, have you been rubbing your hands with glee then when we see a lot of this intense internal debate over the bailing out of weak economies, obviously a lot of dissent between the, some of the major players. Uh, would you rather then see the whole, or do you think, this perhaps could be the beginning of the end of, of the European Union. Uh, yeah, it is the beginning of the end. Uh, the euro is crashing and burning. Thank goodness we never joined uh, the single currency. We now have a situation where there's riots on the street in Athens, uh, Paris. We've also had riots, of course, in Barcelona and parts of Spain. Uh, and of course now the Germans and the uh, French don't want to bail out these so-called pig economies. Well, let me just ask you one thing. In the turbulent times, we've seen this, the Greek crisis, in fact, the Eurozone survived. They're now saying this, the Euro will strengthen. This latest summit they've had has introduced the new crisis mechanism. There's a lot of positive thought. That's exactly what a union should be doing, getting together, sorting out the problems, and moving forward. Even the EU is saying this is a tool, a mechanism to fight the crisis. That's what a union's all about, isn't it? And that's why the union has survived. <laughs> has survived, will it survive? I'm saying in this age of austerity that has nothing to do with the working man. We didn't cause the problem. It was the bankers and lax regulations uh, by politicians right across uh, the Eurozone. We don't fit, I don't understand why we have to feel the pain for that. And it's obvious the German people feel the same way, which is why Angela Merkel is trying to change the Lisbon Treaty now. But I'm saying if you want to change it, you've got to have a referendum. I'm very confident now that referendum will come. We had a poll out this week from my comrades. 75% of the UK population want a referendum. 75%! Why won't the political elite give us it? What are they scared of? I'll tell you what they're scared of. The ordinary man and woman on the street who pay for their extravagance. They don't need a £2.9 billion rise. They need to be cut back and cut back to size because it's rich nations like the UK and France and Germany that are paying for this expensive party. Hey, hey. Yes, bring it on! That was just so anti-elite. Right, so Russia today. Normally, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? The fears bombs have been planted in cargo. Several planes have been grounded and a suspicious package is being investigated in New York. Initial reports suggest that no explosive devices were found as a result of these searches in the US. According to several officials, investigations were prompted by a suspicious device discovered in a cargo hub in the UK. That's it! Oh, you got right now. I haven't stopped this tape. Let's go back to 80. Financial and business cover. Oh, so fair, 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 right? 82. Okay, it, this is a fair, a, fair, a fair, story, really. fair. Uh, that, that fair it's shocking. It's, can you see the fiction? The right, let's go. Uh, 80, 82, back to uh, 80. They're so concerned about this one. Uh, now escorting uh, a plane into JFK Airport just simply because let's it just has. Let's go to the other channel. It's normal Yemen. news. In the Russian city of Sivkivkar, a 26-year-old man had a very lucky escape after he was attacked by a bear right in the centre of the city. The man was bitten in the neck and realises how fortunate he was. Oh, is this new? Is this what news is? A normal person getting attacked by something and us getting told that? Wow! Right, let's have a look at some of the other stupid news channels. CNN. Yeah, what are they saying? Underfunded by the U.S. when compared to, to the amount of fair, 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 some of the other countries in that part fair. of the world. Now, earlier this year, Defense Secretary Robert Gates uh, authorized about $150, $150 million in military spending that would go to planes, helicopters, additional training for Yemen's forces, specifically for them to fight Al Qaeda in the Arabian. <laughs> 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 Ha <laughs> ha! 
don't think for yourself. Comply with what we're saying. Be scared. Go to work and look behind you and be suspicious about everything. Oh, yeah, there's a fighter jet plane near that plane, isn't there? Where is it, then? Oh, it's a single air flight. That can come in on its own. What a complete load of shit. Right, so, like, there you go. CNN, right, which we know is a government brainwashing site. Sky News. Owned by the same people. Them More to fear, the fear, fear, fear. Al Qaeda's got across the box. Al Qaeda translated. Well, simply is, um, trace it all backwards, all the way to the The database. Um, the okay, let's go to. Um, would be utterly pointless. There is a third scenario. Again. Well, there's fourth scenario. One is that. Fear, 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 I was in Coronation Street and I haven't watched that for about five years, no longer than that. I ain't actually talking to myself. Smiler is in the room. You see? There's the back of him. Hello. There's the front of me. Look. Oh, hello. Show us your chair. Oh, yes. We the have chair. a new... The chair. The my, chair. My mother gave me a chair. Russia will increase gas supplies to Poland by as much as 40% following the signing of a new agreement. After nearly two years of negotiations and legal delays, the deal has been sealed. Do, do, do. The Let's go back to the fear channel to see if they're still fearing. Okay, this is this is silly, right? They've been talking uh, about this since 7:30. That uh, that There's been no other uh, news other than this for an hour. Uh, and also, you know, we're talking about cargo. Weapons of mass destruction and terror. <laughs> Uh, it's very important to keep in mind. Uh, it's, it's in the high 90s. Having said that, uh, oh, dear. oh, this is, is fucking priceless. On Monday, the 1st of November, I've just turned the British Brainwashing Corporation on just to, just to see what's going on. And it's terrorists, 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 weapons of mass destruction. Terrorists, terrorists, fear, fear, terrorists, terrorists, terrorists. Look at the thing rolling across the bottom of the screen. <laughs> Oh, this is fucking brilliant. <laughs> yeah, right, okay, let's go on to, um, let's have a look for Sky News and see if they're going. Terrorist, 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 weapon of mass destruction. Terrorist, 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 terrorist. Terrorist, 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 terrorist. The funniest thing, right, about all of this is I actually work for Royal Mail. And funny enough, we um, send a lot of things international um, through the post, and we've not had one warning still, right? So, the footage that I'm going to show you prior to this, right, was when this all first kicked off. It's now three days fucking later. And it's still terrorist, 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 weapons of mass destruction. Oh, we're going to have an interview with someone who's in East Midlands. Why are you still in East Midlands Airport? What on earth is this about, man? This is unbelievable. I've never seen so much brainwashing. Uh, CNN isn't on. I can't check that out. But let's go back to um, BBC News. Terrorist, 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 terrorist. Terrorist, 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 fear, fear, conform, fair terrorist, 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 terrorist. Where's he? East Midlands Airport? Hmm? 29th of October is when all this started. Now the 1st of November. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's it, right? Hold on, let me. So you know, it's it's just 
half a dozen of one and one of the other, I suppose. Anyway, I'm going to go now because this is probably about 15 minutes long. Peace, love and light. Bye.